Friday, November 1st, 2024, Evening Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good test, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AGNDD, until I report. We're excited to have you with us here. I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. And now, headlines of the day. All songs in Tom Hanks' movie here listed. My AA Girls Soccer Statewide Tournament Pairings Announced. Boeing Overcharged Air Force Marked Soap Dispensers 8,000%. 1,700 Illinois Hospital Nurses Planned Second Strike. And much more. But first, this day in history. November 1st in history, November 1st, 1141. Empress Matilda's reign as Lady of the English ends with Stephen of Blois regaining the title of King of England. November 1st, 1805. Napoleon Bonaparte invades Austria during the War of the Third Coalition. Famous people born on this day. Susanna Clark, born on November 1st, 1959, is an English author. She is known for her debut novel, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, published in 2004 which won a Hugo Award. Her works, including Piranesi, feature settings of a magical England inspired by 19th century literature. November 1st, 1958. Rachel Ticotin, American actress. Today's trivia questions. Which English king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? The choices are Richard I, Henry I, Henry V, Henry II. Now take a second to think about it. Which English king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? Okay, got it. Ready? Henry II. Which constellation contains the center of the Milky Way? The choices are Scorpius, Ophiuchus, Capricornus, Sagittarius. Now take a second to think about it. Which constellation contains the center of the Milky Way? Okay, got it. Ready? Sagittarius. And now on to today's news. General news. Boeing marked up soap dispensers by 8,000% amid $1 million in overcharges for the Air Force, according to an audit. BizTalk.com. The Pentagon's Inspector General investigated soap dispenser prices following a tip. However, Boeing disagreed with the report's findings. AGF orders police to transfer hashtag end bad governance protesters case file. The punch. Attorney General Latif Fagbami intervenes in the legal proceedings of hashtag end bad governance protesters, directing police to transfer the case to his office for review. He plans to expedite the hearing, acknowledging the court's authority but seeking an earlier date. The bureau producer Alex Berger and Anikolapos Kunliafalayan headline Ivory Coast Sightseer Film and TV Industry Trade Fair according to Variety. The Salon International du Contenu Audiovisuel d'Abidjan, or CICA, is a three-day event in Ivory Coast. It aims to establish Abidjan as a hub for the film and TV industries in French-speaking Africa, fostering content innovation and international collaboration. Today's trending Google searches. Dia de los Muertos, Orlando shooting, how to vote in the U.S. J.D. Vance, Liz Cheney, Dia de los Muertos 2024. John Paul Miller, Day of the Dead 2024, Sons, Science News. Tiny PC Nostalgia Edition, hashtag Pi Day, hashtag Raspberry Pi. At Raspberry Pi, hashtag 3D printing. Visit Adafruit.com. Adafruit offers a diverse range of Raspberry Pi accessories and tutorials including a guide for creating a miniature nostalgic 90s PC. They also provide educational resources like Circuit Playground for learning coding and electronics and host community events like Electronic Show and Tell. MIAA Girls Soccer Statewide Tournament Pairings Boston Herald. Today's obituaries. Rohit Ball, renowned Indian fashion designer known for his elaborate and grand designs, passed away at 63 due to cardiac arrest. He began his career in 1986, collaborated with Kadi Gram Udyog, and had an international clientele. 
Val received multiple accolades for his contributions to fashion. Morten Stig Christensen, a Danish Olympic handball player and TV presenter, participated in the Olympics from 1976 to 1984. After his handball career, he acted and worked in sports broadcasting. Christensen passed away from cardiac arrest at the age of 65. Joao Scognamiglio Cladias, a Brazilian Roman Catholic priest and writer, founded the Heralds of the Gospel. He served as their superior general until 2017. Dias held multiple degrees in law, philosophy, and theology, and authored several religious books. He passed away on November 1, 2024, at the age of 85. Bibek de Broy was a prominent Indian economist and chairman of the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister. He contributed to economic theory, law reforms, and translations of Indian epics. He was a member of NITI Ayog and received several accolades, including the Padma Shri. De Broy passed away at the age of 69. Alistair Down, a 68-year-old English journalist and broadcaster known for his work with Racing Post and Channel 4 Racing, has passed away. Chuck Haytayan, an American politician of Armenian descent, served in the New Jersey General Assembly from 1982 to 1996 and as Speaker from 1992 to 1996. He ran unsuccessfully for the U.S. Senate in 1994 and faced sexual harassment allegations in 1996. Hay Tyen, a former New Jersey Republican State Committee Chair, died at the age of 86. Kanji Nishio, a Japanese literary scholar and professor, translated Nietzsche and Schopenhauer's works into Japanese. He was a rightist intellectual who led efforts to reform Japan's history textbooks and opposed immigration, citing cultural concerns. Nishio passed away at the age of 89 on November 1, 2024. Juan José Sibreli was a prominent Argentine sociologist, essayist, and philosopher known for his criticism of populism and irrationalism. He co-founded the Gay Liberation Front and participated in clandestine intellectual activities during Argentina's Dirty War. Sibreli was also a columnist and engaged in various public debates. Domingo Barrera Corpus was a Spanish boxer who competed in the 1964 Olympics. He had a notable career, including a controversial 1971 fight against Bruno Arcari. Barrera retired with a record of 40 wins and 10 losses. He passed away on October 31, 2024, at the age of 81. David Davin Power was an Irish journalist known for his role as a political correspondent with RTE News. He contributed to Morning Ireland, served as Northern Ireland editor, and became a political correspondent in 2001. Davin Power passed away on October 31, 2024, at the age of 72, after a career marked by notable broadcasts and documentaries. Candy Devine, an Australian broadcaster and singer, was known for her long career with Downtown Radio in Northern Ireland. Born Faye Ann Guevara, she returned to Australia in 2013. Devine passed away in October 2024 at the age of 85. She was awarded an MBE for her services to broadcasting. Mike Hafner, a former NFL wide receiver for the Denver Broncos and Cincinnati Bengals, passed away in October 2024 at the age of 82. He set a Denver Broncos rookie record in 1968. After retiring, he became an NFL commentator and was known for an on-air incident during the 1978 Fiesta Bowl. Greg Hildebrandt, an influential American illustrator, worked with his twin brother Tim on iconic fantasy and sci-fi artworks, including the Lord of the Rings illustrations and Star Wars posters. After they parted ways professionally, Greg contributed to various projects, including book illustrations and album covers, and supported charitable causes. Masood Ali Khan, a revered Bangladeshi actor, was known for his work in television, film, and stage. Born in 1929, he had a prolific career with notable films and TV dramas, earning prestigious awards like the Akushay Padak. He passed away in 2024 at the age of 95. Wieslaw Lukaszewski was a Polish psychologist specializing in personality, social psychology, and motivation. 
He lectured at several universities and was a member of the Polish Academy of Science. He authored notable psychology books and contributed to scientific journals. He passed away on October 31, 2024, at the age of 84. Charles Olumo, born Al Haji Abdul Salam Sanyaolu, was a Nigerian actor from Abeokuta, renowned for his roles in Yoruba language Nollywood films. He began his acting career in 1953 in Lagos and passed away at the age of 101 on October 31, 2024. Sevko Omer Basic was a prominent Croatian imam and president of the Islamic community in Croatia and Slovenia. Known for promoting inter-religious tolerance, he opposed terrorism by extremists. He held significant teaching roles and served in the Zagreb City Assembly. Omer Basic passed away at the age of 79. Health news? 1,700 University of Illinois hospital nurses have set a date for their second strike. Source not found, biztalk.com. Around 1,700 nurses at University of Illinois hospital and clinics will begin an indefinite strike on November 13th. This marks their second walkout since August, as announced by the Illinois Nurses Association. The Idaho Health Department is no longer allowed to provide COVID-19 vaccines. Source not found. Southwest District Health in Idaho is prohibited from administering COVID-19 vaccines in six counties near the Idaho-Oregon border following a board vote. Quara defends tax deductions on minimum wage from the punch. Source not found. The Quara state government defended recent salary tax deductions as necessary for statutory compliance and fiscal responsibility. Despite labor unions' dissatisfaction over increased taxes with the new minimum wage, the government emphasized legal obligations and aims to balance employee welfare and fiscal accountability. Entertainment news. Twilight of the Dead, Mila Jovovich to star in George A. Romero's final zombie movie. Joblo.com. Mila Jovovich will star in Twilight of the Dead, the final installment of George A. Romero's zombie franchise. Directed by Brad Anderson, the film explores humanity's dark nature on a tropical island, continuing Romero's legacy posthumously. All the songs in the Tom Hanks movie Here, according to the rap. Robert Zemeckis' film Here stars Tom Hanks and Robin Wright as a couple in a house. The passage of time is depicted from a fixed camera angle. The film features a rich soundtrack and includes a nod to Zemeckis' first movie with the Beatles' Ed Sullivan performance. Mark Wahlberg and Michelle Monaghan are returning for the sequel of The Family Plan for Apple, according to Geek Tyrant. Mark Wahlberg and Michelle Monaghan will reprise their roles in a sequel to The Family Plan at Apple Original Studios. They are joined by Zoe Coletti and Van Crosby. The film, directed by Simon Sellen Jones, is an action comedy that received mixed reviews but entertained audiences. And now a couple of dad jokes for you. I got an A on my origami assignment when I turned my paper into my teacher. Put the cat out. I didn't realize it was on fire. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Telly report, dear viewers. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.